I gotta tell you guys, I am really loving this thing. The compact size of it, the folding stock, especially suppressed, the PSA Jackal. I dig it. All right, guys, today we're gonna be talking about the Palmetto State Armory Jackal. This gun has been out for two or three years now, and I would say Palmetto State has done a great job with this. I really like that they're innovating and making new firearms all the time. And the Jackal is one of their most popular, and hopefully by the end of this video, you will understand why. They have several different versions of this out now. You can get it in a rifle configuration. The one that we're looking at here today is in a pistol configuration. They also offer it in 5.56 as well as 300 Blackout, and this is the 300 Blackout version. Now this looks a lot like an AR-15, and for you AR-15 guys, you are gonna feel very comfortable handling this gun. There are a lot of similarities, but there are some key differences that we're gonna talk about here in just a minute. We're also gonna get in here to the tabletop and take a close look at all the features of it, and then we're gonna get out on the range and do some shooting. But first guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. Now right off the bat, one of the key features of the PSA Jackal is the long stroke gas piston system. And that's gonna have a couple major benefits for you. First, it allows the buffer system to be completely encapsulated inside the upper receiver. That's gonna shorten your overall length of the firearm because you don't need the long buffer tube sticking out the back like your average AR-15. That's also gonna allow you to use a variety of folding stock or brace just like this one I have here. The other benefit to the gas piston system is that the gun is gonna run a lot cleaner than a direct impingement system. Another feature you're gonna notice is this monolithic upper receiver. This is all one piece, so you don't have a separate hand guard like you do on your traditional AR-15s. And that's gonna make this a lot more rigid. Your top rail here is all one piece and your barrel is about as free float as it gets. Another big difference you're gonna notice is gonna be the charging handle. You're gonna find that right here. It is a side charging handle and it is non-reciprocating so you don't have to worry about this hitting you in the hand or something like that while you're firing the gun. I like that a lot. I find that side charging handle to be a lot easier to operate than coming back here on the rear. That charging handle is also gonna be ambidextrous so you can switch that to whichever side you prefer. And there are a lot of other really interesting features that we're gonna get into here in a minute when we get to the tabletop, but those are gonna be your main differences from your average AR-15. In fact, the lower receiver is a standard AR-15 lower receiver, and you can pair the Jackal upper with any AR-15 lower receiver that you already have. On the back of the upper receiver, you're gonna have a standard Picatinny rail back here, so you can incorporate any stock or brace that you want to put on here that has that capability. The one I have here is the SB Tactical folding brace, and the way you're gonna fold and unfold that is you're just gonna push up right here, so I push up and that frees it up so it can fold. And then when it gets folded, it's gonna lock in place. To unlock it, again, you just push up and then pull back and she swings open. Now with that said, you can fire the Jackal with the stock folded. And in the configuration that I have here, this is a very small package. Something like this could make a great truck gun or backpack gun or something like that. The overall length with it folded like this is just about 19 and three quarter inches. With the brace fully extended, you're looking at about 28 inches. Now the weight on this is gonna come in right around six and a half pounds. And again, the one I have here is the eight and a half inch nitrided chrome molly steel barrel. And the receiver is gonna be a 6105 with a Cerakoted finish. Now in true Palmetto State fashion, you can get this a lot of different ways. You can buy just the upper, you can buy the upper and lower as a combo, and you can get it with or without the brace or stock, whichever configuration you're looking for. As far as colors, this is the smoke color, and I think this looks awesome. I like that dark gunmetal gray with the black accents. I think that looks good, but you can also get this in FDE or black, as well as several different barrel lengths. So this is the eight and a half inch barrel. I believe they also have a 10 and a half. I've seen a 13 and a half. Uh, they have 16 inch. So a lot of different options and configurations. Just like most Palmetto State guns, they're super customizable, and you can build out a lot of different variations of the Jackal there on Palmetto State's website. 
Now one other feature we're gonna look at more closely in a minute is the Jackal comes with an adjustable six position gas block. Now you don't need any tools to adjust this. You can see it protrudes out of the front of the hand guard here and you can easily adjust it just with your hands. Though it does have a hole there, if you wanted to use some type of tool to put in there to turn it, you could. So with that adjustable gas block coming stock on the firearm, that's gonna open you up to pretty much any bullet that you want to fire out of it. And if you wanted to suppress it, you're already gonna be set up to do that. You can dial in that gas with this adjustable gas block to get it perfect for what you need. Now with that said, this is the 300 blackout version and i specifically went with the 300 blackout with the shorty barrel and the 300 blackout chambering it's almost criminal not to suppress this thing so later on in the video you will see this this is the yankee hill machine resonator k this is a nice short suppressor and i think it's going to pair very nicely with this jackal pistol that we have now let's get in here to the tabletop. We'll take a closer look at all the features of the Jackal and at some of the accessories that I've already added to it. All right, guys, this is the Palmetto State Armory Jackal in 300 blackout with the eight and a half inch barrel. We're gonna get in here and take a closer look at all the features of it. And we'll start right up here at the front. Now I have changed the muzzle device out. The Jackal ships standard with an A2 flash hider. I've swapped that out for the Yankee Hill machine muzzle brake, primarily for compatibility with my suppressor. This is gonna be the eight and a half inch barrel with a one and eight twist. And that barrel is gonna be a nitrided 4150 chrome molly steel. Right behind that, you're gonna notice that adjustable gas block we talked about earlier. And again, that is adjustable just with your fingers. You don't have to have any tools or anything to adjust this. You are gonna get six positions. I think Palmetto State understands that guys are gonna to wanna to customize. You're gonna be using suppressors and things like that. And so they want to go ahead and give you as much capability standard as possible. Now moving on again, you do have this monolithic upper receiver here. So this entire upper receiver is all one piece. You'll notice up here on the front, you have your M lock slots on both sides and on the bottom. Again, your top rail is just one continuous Picatinny rail, pretty standard there. And I will note that these are not T marked. You'll notice QD sling swivel mounts here on both sides. And right above that is going to be your non reciprocating charging handle. Now, like I mentioned before, that charging handle is ambidextrous, so you can switch that over here to the right side if you want to. Moving on back, you don't have a dust cover here, but you do have the deflector. You also notice some relief cuts here in the design. I think that's mostly cosmetic, but it's also gonna cut down just a little bit on the weight, and you'll notice that on both sides. I think this looks really cool with those exposed screws. Again, this is going to be a standard AR-15 lower receiver. The only additional part here is going to be the plug back here since you don't need the buffer tube. Now, this particular version came with some Magpul furniture. So I got the Magpul MOE grip and trigger guard. It's also going to come with a 30 round PMAG, but on this small pistol, I do like to run the 20 round magazine on this. It just makes it overall a smaller package, fits nicer in the truck and in backpacks and things like that. Moving on back, you can see it does have the Picatinny rail here on the back, so you can attach any brace or stock that's compatible. Now, other than the charging handle, all of your controls are gonna be the same as a standard AR-15, mag release here, safety selector here, and bolt release here. Now it is important to note that the bolt release here is kind of a shaved down version because this upper receiver is kind of beefed up here. So you won't be able to use standard AR-15 bolt release, but these are readily available with Palmetto State. And of course it's gonna come with it if you're ordering the kit. Now looking at some of the accessories I have on here, this is the SB Tactical Folding Brace. Now you can order the Jackal with a brace on it already, but I ordered just the upper and lower receiver portion and then purchased the SB Tactical Brace separately. And again, this is just a nice tiny package. I love the size of this. And again, you are able to fire this with the brace folded. You can still easily operate your safety selector, bolt release and charging handle all with the brace folded. The optic I have on here is gonna be the Hollow Sun 510C Red Dot. I really like this thing a lot. I know this has been out for several years, but this is my first experience with it. I've been testing it over the last few months and I will have a full review of this coming out very soon. 
Other than that, I haven't really done anything to the Jackal. Um, I would like to get a light on this, but I haven't decided on one yet. So if you guys have any recommendations, make sure you let me know. I'm looking for something fairly compact since this is such a short barrel. I don't want a light that's gonna be as long as the whole barrel. So uh, something nice and compact. You guys got any suggestions, make sure you let me know in the comment section. All right, guys, we are on the range with the Palmetto State Armory Jackal in 300 blackout. We're just gonna be firing a few shots here. We're gonna try a few different rounds. We're gonna start out with some 125 grain from Freedom Munitions. This is regular supersonic ammo. We're gonna see how that does, and then we'll switch over to some subsonic stuff, and then we'll throw the suppressor on here. So with that said, let's take a few shots. Now we may have to mess with the gas settings a little bit, but that's not a problem because we have this six position adjustable gas system. So what I'm doing here, I started with it turned all the way to the left and I'm just gonna work my way back until I find something that works well. That was the 125 grain Freedom Munitions. Uh, seemed like the second position on that gas block worked best for that. Now let's switch over to some subsonic. All right, guys, we're switching over to some 220 grain stealth ammo from Ammo Incorporated. Uh, now starting out, I'm just gonna leave the gas block in the position that it was at before and we'll see how that does. All right, no surprise there really. So let's just keep let's just keep working that back until we get it to be reliable. All right, so we have that gas block all the way in the furthest most position and we're still not getting it to cycle properly. All right, so with this subsonic ammo from Ammo Incorporated, it's 220 grain. Uh, no matter what position I put it at, I can't get it to cycle properly. But this is subsonic ammo, and subsonic ammo is designed to be used with a suppressor. So let's put the suppressor on here. All right, guys, this is the Yankee Hill Machine Resonator K. This is gonna be the first time I have shot the Jackal Suppress, so I'm really excited about that. But let's see how this ammo cycles now that we've got the can on here. Still shooting that 220 grain subsonic from Ammo Incorporated. All right, let's dial it back. Let's try it again. I can definitely tell it is a whole lot quieter. So I'm loving this combination of the 300 blackout subsonic with the YHM Resonator K. This is just a pleasure to shoot. Now, I don't recommend this at home, guys, but I do feel like since I have it suppressed, I do have to just see what it sounds like without the hearing protection. a lot quieter especially when i'm not shooting at the steel I, you know the steel is louder than the shot itself i feel like all right so with that gas block 
all the way uh, seems to be a lot more reliable with the subsonic ammo again there are a lot of things that are going to affect that the ammo that you're using the can that you're using uh, that's where that adjustable gas block comes in so you can really dial that in where you want it now just because i feel like i have to let's try a little mag dump I gotta tell you guys, I am really loving this thing. The compact size of it, the folding stock, especially suppressed, the PSA Jackal. I dig it. All right, guys, that is it for the Palmetto State Armory Jackal. I love this thing, guys, especially in the 300 blackout chambering. Shooting this thing suppressed is just a pleasure. I love the overall size of it with this eight and a half inch barrel. I really like the folding stock option. This for me, I think is gonna be my new truck gun. I will be doing a video on that as well here coming up. Now I know this thing's been out for a couple years now, but I think Palmetto State is really doing a lot of innovating. I love all the features of this. And they're able to do it at an affordable price. Right now, the Jackal, as you see it here, is coming in right around $1,000. Now, if you're used to buying cheaper ARs, that may sound like a lot to you guys. But for what this is, that $1,000 price tag really isn't that bad, especially compared to other similar products on the market. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think about the Palmetto State Armory Jackal? If you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, I do have an affiliate link. You can find that in the description under my link tree for Palmetto State. I'm also gonna be linking directly to some of these accessories that I have on here if you're interested in those as well. But that's all I got for now. So thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.